Hello, hello, and welcome to another Two Minute Wednesday. Today we're going to look at Photometer again, uh, and I want to show you how layers are working. Also, I'll be traveling in a few weeks, and I like to take my tablet this time and do all my editing on the tablet. So let's see if that works well for me. So I've opened the image here, you'll be able to see it as well. And I'm going to click on the plus and I would like to select the sky. See if it, that works. Did a really good job and this is a very hard image because it has a lot of elements around here. So what I would like to do is drop the exposure a bit. Shadows. Let's see. It was a cloudy day uh, when I took this image, so let's see what we can do. Texture, can we bring more texture in the clouds and more clarity? That looks nice. At the same time, I would like to duplicate this layer and invert it, so it's going to affect only my tree. So let's see how we can do this. If I can I click on this? Duplicate. Actually, this looks very dramatic. <laughs> uh, and invert. Now, this is my first time um, trying this bit, honestly. And all this knowledge comes from Lightroom usage so far. So it's really, really intuitive. So until now, all is good. So again, I digress and I think the timer went, I don't even, I didn't even start the timer. <laughs> What's happening? Uh, yeah, I know, I'm bad. I am really, really bad. I should stop doing these videos um, on a two minute limit, <laughs> but uh, it's fun. Right, so now I inverted and what I want to do is reset my settings here go to what i have green can i add more saturation from green i have some yellows here that i can add and bear in mind this was around springtime when i took this photo so yeah it's brightness let's brighten those colors and again bear in mind that i'm working on layers now the thing that I can do, if I'm overdoing it, or I want to have the intensity, I can change the intensity of the layer itself. So you can see here before and after. I don't know how better you're going to be able to see it on your screens, but trust me, I can see the difference. And it looks really, really good. Uh, another thing that I'd like to try is I'd like to add uh radiant okay so try the old trick where here we jump the exposure a bit so we mimic the sun you know coming from one side so that's cool really nice to be honest i really like this can i move the history i can move i can move yeah, I like it. Can we up the temperature a bit? Ah, uh, this is amazing. I love it. Let's crop this image. I think I would crop it. Let's change, straighten the image first. Like this. I think I can <laughs> more or less leave it like this this or let's see what other crops I could do like a square crop and have everything centered I can do a four by three crop which again it will you know allow me to have more or less everything in frame uh, or custom 16 by 9 this is nice as well you know keep it as a it's a nice wallpaper. It has a lot of definition in the image. I really like it. Uh, can I keep it as is? Use it as a thumbnail as well? Or 
with my face. <laughs> I don't know, we'll see. Um, right, so it's cropped. I don't know what this ML is doing. Crop ML. Hmm. So it randomly chose a different type of crop. Okay, okay. Let's keep it as is. 16 by 9. Okay. Not, not bad. I really, really like it. Okay. Another great, great addition to this. So, so far so good. So far so good. I'll see what other things um, comes with the software and I will let you know what I discover. If you like this type of videos, please <laughs> hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. If you want to see more of this type of things, me discovering new tools and new software and new uh, types of photography and location uh, photography and so on. And um, leave a comment below and let me know, have you used Photometer? What are you using it for? I'd like, honestly, I'd like to um, copy to install the pixel mater. I think that is more of a Photoshop illustrator ish type of software. So tell me your thoughts. Uh, hopefully I didn't bore you too much. <laughs> the video is already 10 minutes and probably I'll crop it. So it's going to be like at least five. Come on, we can do it. Uh, leave your comment below and let me know what have you discovered uh, lately. Until next time, take care. Bye.